Hey guys, this is my homemade disc golf cart made from a $20 Zuka ice skating backpack. Um, I put some big wheels on there, has some cup holders and stuff that I, I'll show in a different video I'll put down in the description. But I have a different problem today, and that is that, I don't know about you, but when I get out to the course, I like to kind of get my mini out from my bag, and if I'm not using my cart, and then put my contents of my pockets, my phone, wallet, and keys into my bag. And so my problem is that I don't have a place to put that on this cart. And so what I did is I fixed that problem by making some different cubby holes where I can put my phone, wallet, and keys. So let me turn this around and show you kind of what I'm talking about. All right, so with this turned around now, underneath my putter pouch, you can see these different flaps that open up um, to make kind of sort of cubby holes or different pockets so I can put my phone, wallet, and keys in. In fact, let me remove my putter pouch so you can get a better look at it. Um, these open just fine without that. There's plenty of room um, for it to have both the putter pouch and that on there. But just so you can see this a little better, I'll take this off. All right, so once my handle and my putter pouch are off of the basket, um, I can now show you these different pockets. Again, if you're interested about the handle and how that's attached with these wing nuts, um, I will link a different video down in the description about how I made that, okay? But now you can see that these flaps are clearly visible, and this is where um, I can put my phone, wallet, and keys. Um, and also, when I get out to the course, if you're like me, you probably wanna take out your mini and put that in your pocket, okay? So I'm gonna take that out. I have my phone, wallet, and keys now that I can put into these pockets. Um, start here with my keys. In this right pocket here, um, kind of attached to this hinge, I have a, uh, a little hook sort of off the end of a lanyard, right? So that I'm gonna hook my keys on there um, so that even if this kind of pops out for some reason of this flap, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's nice and attached on that hook. Okay, but I do like to tuck those in there and keep that flap closed. Okay, secondly is my wallet. And again, where I kept the uh, mini, I'm gonna put my wallet in this one. I do have to turn it sideways a little bit, but otherwise that closes nice and firm. And you'll notice here that there's this kind of stretchy strand and I left a, a screw kind of half out. And so that way, when I put this down, I can just pull this over and that stretchiness of the screw holds that, of the string holds that nice and tight and that wallet's not gonna go out of there ever, okay? Put the, whoa, put the uh, uh, mini into my pocket while I play. And I guess most of the time I do carry my phone with me so I can keep track of my score on U-Disc. Um, but if I wanted to, I could also put that in those pockets as well. Okay, so let me show you how I made this. I'll cut to some uh, different footage here of me making this. I started out with some plywood on either side of uh, the side of my cart. Okay, and it came out about six inches. Or I should say it was about six inches of plywood uh, with about an inch fixed into the side here, screwed in there. And I cut some slits that you can see on either side here into uh, the sides, making some uh, sort of mortise and tennis rabbits, I guess, that slid the other pieces in. So this is incredibly strong. And I also glued that up a little bit. Uh, this It's not gonna go anywhere. I just wanted to make sure that my handle made out of this C channel, this aluminum C channel, was able to fit in there and could still affix to those bolts with the wing nuts, all right? And to do that, I did have to cut out a little bit of the center in the bottom there. And I'll kind of turn this, I don't know if you can see that or not, but this goes all the way down and through and I'm able to put the handle in there. Okay, I also put in kind of two sides to make these two separate pockets for my phone, wallet, and keys. Again, out of just some plywood. I was able to spray paint this kind of red and black with the color scheme of the rest of my cart. I'm a, a big Nebraska football fan, and so that's why we got the red and the black going on. And then I also put my initials K and M with some stencils, with some black spray paint. And um, I made it so that when you open this up on the hinge, it's an M either way, and same thing with the K. This one's hooked on there right now, but the K also does that. Okay, speaking of the hinges, I went and bought from Home Depot, I think about two to three dollars of these really small hinges. And I just wanted to make sure that I was real careful when I put those on there so that the flap itself uh, was parallel with the top of the backside of this plywood. That way when it comes down, it's not angled up or down and the contents stay in. I did have to use, I think, an extension for my uh, screw gun to get past the, the backside of my cart. But again, once, um, 
I put this one on with the M, this is where the keys are. I put this lanyard kind of in between the hinge and the plywood itself. And once screws were tight, then that fixed it in there so that this lanyard isn't gonna come out and the keys stay um, attached no matter what happens. So let me know down in the comments below if this is something you might try on your cart. Um, let me know if you even have a cart or if you wanna try to build a cart. And if you do, you might wanna watch this video where I show you step-by-step step how to make a car and how to do so under $100. Until next time, we'll see you out there on the course.